Channel 6 Television was on hand for the 2018 Sorghum Festival in downtown Springfield, put on by the Springfield Washington County Chamber of Commerce. And in spite of the very hot weather, which is kind of unusual for the Sorghum Festival, there's a nice crowd and a great day of events. You get to see highlights from those events at the Springfield Sorghum Festival right here on Channel 6 Television, including the Springfield Sorghum Festival Parade and a political rally that took place during the Sorghum Festival as well in downtown Springfield. Plus, coming up in just a minute, we have a little information on sorghum and the making of sorghum and some members of a local Springfield and Washington County family who have been making sorghum and were making it at the festival were actually grand marshals in the parade. So you'll get to see that as well here on Channel 6 and Kentucky Television. But here now is a little of information on the namesake for the sorghum festival, the making of sorghum right in downtown Washington County. what the sorghum looks like and it grows anywhere between 8 to 12 feet tall and then we'll cut it down once it gets um, to full size we'll take all the leaves off of it because the leaves will kind of leave a bitter flavor and then we'll send it through a sorghum mill which will grind all the juice out of it so we want to get that juice and then we'll start cooking with it so what you're seeing over there is the juice being cooked um, and we typically will cook for about six hours while we're here we cook a little bit longer because this and kind of let out some of our fire. And what he's doing is he's getting the skimmings off the cookie. So um, he's going to take that little skimmer and he's going to get that green stuff off the top. That's just the impurities in the corner. So when you're grinding it, sometimes you'll get a little bit of excess plant material with the juice um, and then it'll come to the top. If you leave it on there, it leaves it a little more bitter and you'll just go in place. So hopefully we'll be done in about an hour and it'll be a nice golden color. You can already see some of those little golden bubbles coming up. Um, but we'll get a lot more of those. And then uh, once it reaches about 228, um, as far as degrees go, it'll be ready for us to pour. 